If you live in the tropics, you've probably heard of this plant here behind me. This is breadfruit, otherwise known as ulu here in Hawaii. Now, a few months back, I found a root growing from the parent breadfruit tree, and I scored it with a shovel, making little nicks and cuts in that root. And this is what I have to show for it. I have these little ulu keikis that sprouted up, and now it's time for me to cut them out of the ground so that I can pop them up. Start off by clearing around the roots, making sure that you know where you're working and what you have to work with. Then go ahead and uh, try and excavate it out. See if you can just pull it by hand at first. And if you could do that, continue doing it. If you need to use a shovel or anything to pry it out a little bit more, go ahead and do that. Now before I actually went and took those cuttings, I made sure that I had my pots and my soil prepared. Because once your way to mess up with propagation is to not have your potting material and your soil ready to go before you start handling your plant material. We want to have a good potting soil that drains really well and is crumbly. We want to make sure that the roots have room to grow, but there's enough structure to hold the plant. And we also want to make sure that the water can drain out really well because at this stage, the roots cannot get drowned out at all. So make sure that your potting soil is well draining and that you have something large enough, like a bucket or a large pot, to be able to handle planting something as large as these breadfruit keiki. So I like to start by getting a bucket half filled and then putting in an ulu to try and gauge where the top of the plant will be. And so right now, that looks pretty good. I don't want to fill this pot all the way that's too much soil but I'm just gonna hold the ulu in there and start filling it up you could water it in a little to settle in the tree and the soil and you can see that it still needs more There's a lot of air in there I like threading my fingers through the soil try and fill up any air gaps then we're going to put in some more we don't want to go over the collar of the the trunk of the tree but we do want to make sure there's enough support for it so at this point in time you can support the tree with a bamboo stick or something and then set it outside and let's continue the process so you can see here that we have a few different uh keikis coming out pretty much out of the same root mass we could actually divide these out trying to save a root where we can and uh, they should be able to continue growing on into the pots so let's go ahead and do that right now and you'll see what I mean as we come back in six months time now I wanted to show this normally I cut the leaves right away when I make transplant like this but I, I wanted to show you guys what really happens the leaves do droop and start to die off at a certain point so you may as well just cut them off right away I know that may sound hard and counterintuitive but it really is better for the plant it allows the plant to retain moisture and to really develop roots so don't be afraid to cut every leaf off that you see and if you want you can leave a couple at the tip Okay, here we are about two months down the line and you see here that some of the tips have died but down below we're still seeing signs of life. A little bit of a bud is trying to push through. And here we are four months down the line and things are really budding out. Leaves have popped on the tips and buds are really starting to pop there on the trunk. So a lot of our cuttings are looking pretty good. Six months down the line and we got lots of leaves forming. The trees are looking pretty good and we can tell that uh, they're gonna take. So success. Now, not all of them uh, look great. Some are only growing leaves at the base and not on the tip, but that's okay. They'll still grow. Just prune that tip off. And then in five short years or so, you'll have a ulu tree that looks like this. This one was taken by root cutting. And here it is growing perfectly fine on my mother's property. And that's how you do it, guys. That's how you take root cuttings of ulu. If you're interested in making air layers of ulu, I made a video that you can check out right here. 
Don't forget to pick up that freebie down in the description below. And thanks for watching, everybody. Ahoy ho.